Hi, Pavel. Hi, Kirill. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually first time we see each other and yeah. uh, starting today or tomorrow, Wild Sync products will appear in Triangle Core Rocks shop. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about yourself. Just make a small introduction for those who don't know you. Okay, I'm, my name is Pavel. I'm from Belarus, but actually I live in, in uh, Warsaw. Because of some reasons, I guess? Yeah, yeah, some reasons. Because, because after revolution in Belarus in 2020, I sitting in jail and left uh, my country. And like uh, many Belarusian people, I left my country and now I live in Warsaw. Nice. Live and, and work in Warsaw. And now your main activity is producing your rec modules yeah. under the name Wild Sync. Yeah. Maybe tell me about how did you come to this point? Uh, Were you always uh, close to musical world or did it, you, did it just spark at some way? Yeah, I always and... uh, close uh, in musical world and, and uh, sound engineering world and a little, uh, little bit close in electronical world. I work in uh, like a sound engineer more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like musician, I play in different types of music. I play in, in punk rock group Amazing. and uh, play in, uh, in techno duet. And... You sure like you play guitar in techno duet? No, I <laughs> play in, in, by my group boxes in techno duet. Groove boxes on di and different uh, Soviet uh, analog synthesizers and like drum synthesizers. Which is your which is your favorite synthesizer these days? Uh, if we talk about uh, analog Soviet synthesizers, anything, anything. Which is your favorite? No, maybe this is uh, um, Farmanta Udes. This is uh, is this? an analog <laughs> drum synthesizer from Soviet Union. Oh, wow. Farmanta Udes, this is fucking Soviet uh, drum monster synthesizer. You say, you, has, say uh, you said fucking, now we have to put 18 please. plus. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is very cool synthesizer. I, I think uh, Erika since uh, doing something Berkons, yeah something ah. like uh, like this synthesizer and uh, some uh, some laboratory some lab uh, yeah, doing something like this scene. i think you can try percons there at the super booth yeah. at the booth of the <laughs> erica Sims. i know i know <laughs> cool uh so tell me how did you come from the just playing music and punk and techno bands to actually producing your own modules yeah in uh, 2015 my friends uh, who playing with me in a, in a techno band uh, uh, talked to me you need start producing Eurorack models uh -huh. but i uh, i take some schematics from internet i just look uh, on these schematics and think oh it's so difficult it's so crazy and uh, not for me i think this is eurorack not for me eurorack develop is not for me but uh, after 2020 i start develop <laughs> eurorack models so for two years you're producing eurorack modules now yeah yeah two years which was your first uh, my first model, this is a Fat Mook VCF. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on, on Mook schematics, I mean. Yeah, it's based on classic letter filter Mook schematics. Uh, this is uh, um, not all my develop uh, because uh, we developed this model with my friend uh, who uh, uh, live in Belarus uh, right still. now. Still live, yeah, in Belarus right now. He can can go in uh, uh, Poland or other, other European country by same reasons. Uh, but uh, this model uh, doesn't work, and uh, uh, I, I I end this model, mm -hmm. ended this model, and uh, make a product. 
Ah, from okay, this okay. Model. So he has some prototype that he could yeah, finish he, and he helped him. Yeah, he have a prototype, mm -hmm. but uh, we have the same same uh, bugs, uh, bugs in this uh, about, model. Okay. Yeah. Good. And good. I good. finished this prototype and uh, I try to sell this prototype and. Uh, um, my first uh, buyer was from LA. This is a uh, <laughs> long way. Yeah, for this module. is a great musician, sound engineer from LA, and it was a start. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, since then, two years passed, you now have, I think, like eight different modules or even uh, more? I don't know, maybe eight, yeah. maybe and a little bit. Your latest one is Let's the one that is not yet on the market. But probably will be very soon, in maybe even a few days, yeah. which is a VCO. Yeah. Tell us, tell me, tell us about this new VCO. I, uh, this is a VCO. Uh, maybe I, you can. Do, do you want to show it? Huh? Do you want to show it? Do you have it there? Yeah, I, I have. A Camera Magic, and now the module is first here. VCO <laughs> prototype. Just. Move. And also there, we have. Yeah. <laughs> we have two. And mixer for VCO. Yeah, this is a full analog VCO model. It based it on uh, 4068 chip, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it called analog 68, <laughs> mm -hmm. like yeah. a chip. 69. Uh, oh, yeah, analog 69. <laughs> Uh, this is a four-wave VCO, third tooth, triangle pulse wave with pulse uh, modulation, pulse wide modulation, sine, sine wave, and this is later have a, a sub oscillator with minus one octave, minus two octave, okay. and m uh, mix uh, minus one and two octaves. Switch. Oh, lo lovely, lovely. Yeah, this, this, is, is, like, this is actually sa not same, very common. Same sub uh, oscillator, same like in uh, Roland, uh, uh, Roland 1001. Uh, one. Yeah. Okay. Ro Roland 101. Uh -huh. SH101. One one. Ah, okay, SH101. One. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what yeah, this is the later octave switch. Octave see? switch, uh, tune uh, knob, mm -hmm. minus one, plus one octave, and fi fine, uh, fine tuned knob, mm -hmm. uh, half semitone. Yeah, mm -hmm. or one semitone. Yeah, one semitone down and one semitone up. Fine tune. And also, this installator have a primitive LFO mm -hmm. on a board. Is it pre-patched to some parameter? Uh, pre-patch? Uh, does it by default modulate something on the VCO? Uh, yeah, this uh, installator have uh, built it uh, LFO, and you can modulate uh, some parameters like. Uh, FM modulation, linear or exponential, or PVM. Okay, so it's, by, it's, it's, it's already normal. If there? this knob on zero, L4 uh -huh. uh, don't work. If this okay. knob on, so you, you don't need to explicitly patch it. It is yeah, you don't wired. need to uh, nice. patch it because it's pre-patched. But but you can patch it. That's if really you cool. Want. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you think about Superbooth? It's your first time here. Yeah, this is first time. I uh, look a little bit of exhibitions on Superbooth. Yeah, it's very cool. Very nice coffee. Very Super nice Booth. coffee. <laughs> yeah, very nice, very hot coffee. Very tasty. Two, two short espresso, you told yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super. What are your expectations? Super espresso. Super, super <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any expectations of this expo, of the super booth, or you just came here to have fun? Uh, I came to have fun, uh, have some new friends, maybe some new developers, uh, friends, uh, friends from developers. Yeah, maybe I have talk uh, some, uh, with some major guys in Eurorack development. Is there any particular brand or uh, product that you want to? Um, look in particular into? 
try it out or yeah, something? Yeah, uh, maybe this is Befak or something from uh, Bastel Instruments. I want to talk with guys from Bastel Instruments. Mm -hmm. and I like uh, this team. Uh, this, uh, I like atmosphere in this team, in his... Uh, uh, they have so many, so many different products. Yeah, Evil Rack, yeah. non-Evil Rack, this non -Rack. Uh, drum thing. I yeah. like non-Evil Rack products. I like mm -hmm. uh, um, standalone products, but now I'm in Evil Rack. When I uh, uh, ended my Evil Rack system, uh, I go into standalone devices. Oh, okay, so you plan you plan to try something out in, in standalone as well? Yeah, yeah. I want to uh, make standalone devices, but I have a problem with uh, mm, boxes for ah. standalone devices. Yeah, yeah. F uh, problem with uh, metal boxes, different holes in these boxes. Yeah, you need to cut them. You need to yeah, solder them. Yeah, I see. I see. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay, before we go to lunch, do you want to? Say something else. Did they maybe maybe you wanted me to ask you something that I didn't ask? Maybe you just want to say final words. Final words. Mm. Peace for Ukraine. Stop the war. Ruski vayani karabal idi nahui. Again, eighteen plus. Long live Belarus. Long live Belarus. Okay, thank you. <laughs>